Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Endeavor OS on the left hand side here versus Zorin OS on the right hand side here. So both the latest releases, both running on the XFCE desktop environment, both heavily customized so they're not the stock standard XFCE desktop environment as well as you'll plainly see in a moment. So they're very beautified, they're very customized, very modernized too. Uh, now uh, let's see, so we've got the categorizations for the apps and the options there, everything you can see. You got a bit of a, a single color tone option for the categorizations for the app options there too on the left hand side uh, that kind of thing actually sorry on the right hand side whereas the left hand side you've got the beautiful coloring scheme now uh, Zorin OS is actually designed to be for newcomers to Linux it's it's simple it's beautiful newcomers from Windows for instance there so Basically, yeah, you've got your start menu and you can, uh, you've can you got your quick launch icons, which is pretty similar to the Endeavor side. So it depends on uh, what you prefer here. They're both similar. They're both highly customized. They're both beautiful and refined there, at least in my opinion. Next up, uh, if we right click, we'll have a look at the context menus and we can see we've basically got the same options here. Nice little curved rounded edges here for Zorin OS. It uh, spares no expense when it comes to modernization and beautification of its operating system there. But if you open up terminal, away you go and everyone's a winner. Uh, next up, uh, let's have a quick look at the file managers here. So I just want to double check the really beautiful Zorin OS. It's Thuna file manager. They're both running on the Thuna file manager. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, Endeavor OS has actually been modified or customized from the stock standard one uh, of the stock standard XFCE Thunar file manager whereas Zorin OS has done the same but they've taken it to a new level it looks almost Mac OS-esque in a way there so very very beautiful the way that it works it's not the slightly dark tones that I do enjoy for Endeavor OS but uh, still goes a long way to, to being just just really nice to look at just is super easy on the eyes there uh, next up, let's have a look at, say, the, the back end and see what's going on there. So let's have a quick look at the, uh, well, let me just open up a terminal here and have a look at the the kernel on boot up. So we should see some differences here. So on the left hand side for Endeavor, we are running on the 5.18 kernel, latest and greatest. If you've got, say, some really uh, modern hardware there, that can be helpful. Whereas Zorin OS is running on a bit of an older kernel there. You can see it's the 5.13 kernel. Uh, reason for this is actually Zorin OS is running on the uh, on the Ubuntu base where it's not as latest and greatest, whereas Endeavor is running on the Arc Linux base, which is much later and greater in comparison. Having said that, this should update soon for Zorin OS. I suspect Zorin OS uh, 17 Lite will come out soon because uh, it should be based on the new version of Ubuntu that's recently come out itself. Now, last but not least, to take these final figures with a bit of a grain of salt, but we'll take a look here. So the RAM usage on boot up, Endeavor is using about 660 megabytes of RAM on boot up, whereas super surprisingly, Zorin OS, the one that spares no expense in making things look super beautiful and lovely, it's only using 526 megabytes of RAM. So certainly very well optimized the way that they've chosen to go about that there. So I'm very, very proud and happy to see it. Uh, bit of a much of a muchness here, I guess, at the moment. I would prob I, I actually really like both of these operating systems. I can't really choose. If you've got later and greater hardware, you probably do want to look at Endeavor as your choice over Zorin OS. But if you just want to use it, uh, the, or maybe on an old or machine or or for your mom or your dad or your pop you might probably be looking at Zorin OS. I mean, they do, they handle the same functionality, they do the same things, but this really comes down to how beautiful you want it to look. And uh, if, if it's just for a, a simple user interface, then Zorin OS is probably gonna be your one there for sure. And you can even see that with the uh, the, the missing workspaces, unlike what uh, Endeavor, has, Endeavor OS has in there. There's a simplified notification section there in the cal calendar. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment to subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.